Hello everyone, we are once again returning back to the Andromeda Galaxy and the Helios Cluster. So, last time, we had did a bunch of little bureaucratic things on Aya. A couple things we want to finish up here, and then we have at least two loyalty missions lined up. We have Jaws loyalty mission, and I think we have... The queue set up for PB's loyalty mission. Don't know about Liam yet. Liam is the last one we've really got a direct lead on at the moment. By the way, one of the things I appreciate about this game is that when, you, when we get access to the vault, we don't mess with the vault. Even if it's in some way miscalibrated, we don't touch it, we leave it alone. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, we actually have two side quests over here. Go to the docks first. One of the ones we're doing with here is talking to people about having them move to the Nexus. There's one person over here, and there's someone who can turn a side quest into as well. Add your lineup for a second. There we go. Ambassador Realis said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. I find her. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer. But I won't be happy as just an observer. I want and need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? So the thing is, um, a lot of the people we'll be thawing out are probably going to be getting sent out to, to your maintenance on the colonies. Or the settlements, rather. So, having people to help be trained in human technology and help on the, the Nexus would probably be really, work really well. That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador start the transfer. Thank you. Okay, before I head back to the other ones, let's chat to you because we have a side quest to turn in. You're always a welcome sight, Pathfinder. Still no word from our search vessel. How goes your hunt for the missing satellites? Your people caught scavengers from Kadara port stealing them. There was a fight. And I'm um, lost. I sent them out. And risked your life too. The scavengers. Angaran? Have our deserters preyed upon us again? Criminals were my people. Exiles. That's really bad they camera location. Into scrap. I brought what's left. The initiative is supposed to explore. Not steal and kill. Why would your people steal something that protects us all? Murder those who are only trying to help. Well, the short version is... Things went bad when we ended up in this part of the galaxy. Initially, because we didn't anticipate the Scourge, people got desperate and desperate people do stupid things. Things that they'd regret later. That's what I want, is, and I'm trying, and I and the leaders of the initiative are trying to make right 
what got screwed up. I apologize how thing, for things turning as bad as they did, and we will do everything we can to make restitution. That is what I'd like to say. I don't know if this will involve actually say that. Sometimes desperate people do bad things to survive. They won't hurt Okay, that's actually else. not... That's no comfort for what we lost. Maybe the others are right. What if you are no better than the Ket? These scavengers abandoned the initiative, just like your deserters left you. And we hate them, too. Keep what your people stole and go. I don't... I can't talk to you anymore. <sighs> That's a bummer. Sorry to hear things went south of that Angar and Astronomer Rider. Found a silver lining, though. The scrap satellites are gonna come in extra handy. Not as handy as what we could have had, but I'll take it. Yeah. But I didn't lie. I was honest, even if it's even if the end result was not optimal. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city. I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Settlers on Kadara are suffering from a bacterial infection. They need Angaran antibiotics to fight it. A medic in the city should be able to help. Got it. They'll have that medicine in no time. Eladin's water purifier can't keep up with demand. They're requesting one of those Angaran ionic filters. There are engineers who work in the aqueducts here. I'll bet they have what we need. On it. One filter coming up. Okay. <laughs> and let's fast travel over in here and see what doing the side quest stuff. my game in case I screw this up. Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... Yes, I do. Yes, please. Since you're here to talk to you. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? Well, we have our comm system. Um, we probably... We have a regular communications from the Angaran Embassy on the Nexus to here. We can send communication through the Embassy. And similarly, we have communications going from the Nexus to the Initiative Embassy here. So either one of those would be a viable option with which to send communications. You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. 
I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. You're not good enough, Pathfinder. Ah, uh, well. Wasn't my first choice, but that'll work. But, oh well. I mean, if they want to fly out here, it's up to them. I'm not going to fly them out here if they're not if they're not up to it. I'm going to uproot their not going to uproot their lives. Do you work on water filtration here? I designed the ah. system for it. Can you sell me an ionic filter? My people need it on Elodin. If they're tough enough for Elodin, they deserve help. Here. Good news, I've got the cash. Because these are side quests that are absolutely worth doing, I think. Both in terms of the uh, citizen exchange And in terms of the getting survival supplies. You need a better like quick save option. I get a how do I line up? There we go. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? Yes, we have excellently trained medical technicians, and also I'm certain the uh, Angaran Embassy has its own medical staff who are 100% trained in Angaran physiology and will be able to provide whatever assistance you need to meet your medical needs. I don't know... That is what I'd like to say. I don't know if that's what will actually be said if I when I press this button, but that is the sentiment which I'm going for. They wouldn't let me on I if I was a walking petri dish. That also works. You aren't taking this seriously enough to stop. Oh, my that's not. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to reload that because that is not what I was trying to say. Because I am taking this seriously. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. This is the op. All right, so again. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. We'll take every precaution, but entering an alien environment is always a risk. I appreciate your honesty, and so will my family. I'll convince them to let me go. Thank you. Okay. So let's get talk to the assistant medic to get the antibiotics, turn those quests in, and then get started with Jal's loyalty mission. I apparently only need to be decontaminated once.
My people on Kadar are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do? There we go. Alright, and then back to Merxius. And then talk to the Moshai. As a fetch quest, this works and makes sense to me. Because you have access to areas that you otherwise wouldn't have, or connections to others wouldn't have, so you can open basically do these deals. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. More of your outposts need help, if you have time. Volt's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. The solar amplifier would give them the boost. The solar technicians here may have the required Although parts. Almost done with this. I'll see what I can find. Here, I have the antibiotics for Kadara. Will the settlers be okay? Once they have these, they'll be fine. I'll make sure they know who to thank. I managed to find an ionic filter for Elodin. Make sure they get it. I'll get this delivered right away. They'll be relieved to have enough water. All right, so actually there's one more. Oshai and a solar technician. A plant to scan. Pathfinder, analysis reveals this plant to be fruit bearing. Can we eat it? Unknown. If we find more samples, I can transmit the data to Dr. Tapero for testing. You work on the solar panels. Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Yes, please. There we go. Ah. The murals that were directing me toward for uh, research points. And here's the solar amplifier. Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. Okay, so that's those side quests, which boosts everybody's survivability. Now, let's go talk to the Moshai. Started with Jal's loyalty quest. Stars 
harmony might not be the correct term. More like enlightened spirit of cooperation. <laughs> I appreciate That's a nice little vignette. scanning on my scanning what caught the attention of the those okay how am I getting in here up this way I think this is my last fruit I need is over here somewhere. There you are. And quest complete. Ryder, I took a look at the plants you sent. Good news, they're edible. So we can grow them on the Nexus? Not just these. If the genetic makeup is similar, most of the food on Aya could be nice. edible. Nice! But I need to be sure. Get a sample of fruit from the market. Wrong way. Here we go. Moshai. Ephra should have come to me. Shh, Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's she doing here? Looking to talk to you. I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel. Ryder rescued me from the Ket. She risked her life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I want to be allies. Equal allies. Yep. <laughs> you don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel. He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the cat. Sorry? Even without exultation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope I so. I hope so too. Ryder. We just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room oh, when you get crap. back to the Tempest. That's not good. Okay. Oh, data pad. All right. Interesting thoughts. Um, all right, before anything else, um, root purchase. So It's kind of interesting with this game and the cat and the initiative role in this. And it Visit me for all your day-to-day -day needs. Vesteran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter.
I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy a Paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury, meant to be shared with friends and family. Can I get a few of those fruits for the Tempest? More than one? You Pathfinders are richer than I I've been saving... What do you mean? You really are new to Helios. Look at it this way. This Paripo feeds one. Or we can break it down into nutrient paste and feed 20. Raw fruit is rare because it's excessive. A luxury. Better to make the most out of it, right? Is that what you guys eat? Of course. It gives us the nutrition we need without wasting resources. The food we grow is precious. We have to make the I most see. of it. And once in a while, we treat ourselves. Huh. Maybe we should look into this stuff. A responsible choice. Rowan will be happy to give you a sample from the Tavatan. I'll send a few fruits to your ship in the meantime. A gift. Thank you very much. I'll get moving. But anyway, um, he is like one of the things that comes up with science fiction is a lot is the idea of a race of of alien races being from the planet of hats, so to speak. The term they use in TV tropes. Um, Star Trek's a great example of this. You have the Klingons who have the warrior hat. You have the Romulans who have the cunning and conniving hat. You have the Vulcans who have the scientist hat. And then... And... Um, the Cardassians have the totalitarian hat. Hang on a sec. Welcome to the Tavatan. Feel free to order a drink. Or if you're hungry, we have nutrient paste. Not as exciting as fresh fruit, but you'll like it. What's in that stuff? In short, everything. Nearly all the food we grow goes straight into processing. We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. Even ship some off-world. If we used your system, we'd never have a food shortage. If you want, I can send a few samples to your ship. Your people can study it. The Nexus would love that. Consider it done. I'd like a drink. Thank you. Um. What does Tavitan mean? My translator won't pick it up. It depends on the context. If it's a person, it means an old friend. If it's a location, like this, it's more... a place you could bring someone home to. What if you need to meet your Tavitan at the Tavitan? It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure your language has That's fair. Works. Don't get me started. <laughs> this is true. English. The That's language that rolls other like Come back anytime. The rolls other languages in back alleys for loose uh, syntax. Uh Anyway, back to the ship. Uh with the um with the cat, they are a race of hats or from a planet or a civilization of hats. But their hat is, to a certain degree, colonialism. Ryder, uh, I analyzed all the food okay. samples you sent. You're good to go. Everything is safe. You sure? Liam already ate the Peripo. And he's not dead. Good enough for me. I passed my data along to the Nexus. Congratulations, Ryder. We have food. Awesome! So, with the, so, with the cat, their hat is colonialism, is their, like, their thing of converting other beings into cat has... Ryder, 
Liam's looking okay. for you. You have new email at your terminal pathfinder. Has a degree of connection to like forced assimilation in various cultures and stuff. Um Okay. I talked to Liam first because listen, we're getting into his loyalty quest. Rack, Petra, Gil. Lexi, Joel. Okay, so we got we have all three loyalty missions.